Hello class, this is Mr. Herman, and this instructional video is all about beat poetry and how to complete the beat poetry assignment. Beat poetry is going to be the very first type of poetry we're going to complete in this class, and we're going to do it for a specific reason. The specific reason is that it is informal poetry, it has less rules, and it's more of a stylistic thing. Therefore, it's a little easier to write about. Beat poetry was a style of poetry that popped up in the 50s and 60s. It was started by people who rebelled against the idea that when you grew up, you had to live a certain lifestyle. Uh, one of the guys who started beat poetry was Jack Kerouac. He was a young man who decided to rebel against the typical um, go to college, get married, have kids thing. And he actually became a hobo traveling across the country with his friends, writing about his experiences in bars, living on the road, that type of thing. He, wrote actually, he actually wrote a book called On the Road that's very famous. So we're going to read two poems by Jack Kerouac and figure out what makes them special, figure out how he constructed them, and how we can make our own versions of beat poems. The first one is On Tears. And let's take a look at the diction of On Tears. Uh, you can tell by the title that the tone is going to be a little depressing. So look for words that have a dark twinge to them. On Tears. Tears is the break of my brow. The moony tempestuous. Sitting down in dark rail yards. When to see my mother's face. Recalling from the waking vision I wept to understand. The trap mortality. And personal blood of earth. Which saw me in. Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? Mortality and unpleasure roam this city. Unhappiness my middle name. I want to be saved. Sunk, can't be, won't be, never was made. So rich. So there's a few things you notice about this poem going into it. There's a lot of dark words to be picked from here. There's blood, mortality. There's dark for rail yards, tempestuous. Also, you can notice the format is a little different. There are lines that are very short, two words long. There are lines that are a little bit longer, maybe seven words long. He varies it to give it an uneven flow. Also for syntax, he uses a lot of dashes to break up his thoughts. He uses question marks and exclamation points to express his emotion. Also, this is not a clear sentence structure. He breaks up these sentences so they're kind of at their core. He takes out words that are unnecessary. So they're kind of just at their most basic level, which shows his most basic feelings. The details are all um, darker visions. There's not like a clear story here, but you do get a sense that um, Jack Kerouac's by himself in a rail yard, thinking of his parents and feeling terribly depressed about everything. So that is a beat poem. Um, it's got a broken up structure. It's pretty short. And let's take a look at one more called Trees. This is also by Jack Kerouac. But a tree has a long-suffering shape, is spread in half by two-limbed fate, rises from gray rain, pavements, to traffic in the bleak, brown air of city's radar television, nameless dumb and numb Miss Conicum, throwing twigs the color of ink to white-souled heaven with a reality of its own uses. Now this poem is a poem, of course, about a tree in the city, and it has a very similar detail style, similar diction that's pretty dark. Um, the syntax, again, breaks it up into sh tinier lines um, that give it that uneven feel. And that's what Jack Kerouac's going for with these beat poems. No rhyming rules here, no line length rules, but we are going to write our own poems that have a similar style. And what we're going to do is we're going to take prose, which is non-poetry, and turn it into one of these poems to write our first poem for this class. If you scroll down further in the document, I have a piece of prose here called Living Like Weasels by Annie Dillard, who's a nature writer. Now this looks pretty long, but you don't have to read the entire thing. What I'm going to ask you guys to do is you're going to look at this piece of prose, non-poetry, and you're going to pick out tiny chunks, just groups of words. 
and you're going to make a phrase bank up here. Now your phrases that you pull out should be about the length of one of these lines. Could be one word, could be up to like seven or eight words. So you're going to look through and you're going to find a phrase that sticks out to you. You're just going to scan your eyes through basically. Um, and once you find something that's interesting to you, you can copy and paste it and put it up there, or if you're doing it by hand, you can do it that way. So I'm scanning through, and I like the phrase, my feet tremble. So I'm going to copy it, and I want to use it for later. I'll paste it up here. Now I'm looking for about the amount that it would take to write an entire beat poem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so about 18. If you find a long one that you like, you can break it up into pieces, and that will give you like three. So now that I have my first line, or one of my lines, my feet tremble, I'm going to look for lines that would match that. Cross the highway to me matches. I like the distant shore. So I don't have quite enough to create an entire beat poem here, but I'm just going to give you an example of ones that I found, how we can rearrange it to make something that sounds great. So here are my pieces, my phrases that I took out of the prose, and I'm going to try to think of one that would start a poem in the way I wanted to. So I'm going to start off with um, Cross the Highway. It's my first line. And I'm going to think of what will come next. Through the woods I like next. Um, cross the highway through the woods. And now I can add punctuation like Jack Kerouac would have. He likes dashes. So I like my feet tremble. And I'm going to break it up even more as so it trembles on its own. Like my feet tremble. The distant shore. Two black eyes, remarkable piece of shallowness. Once a man looking down. I'm going to take this one out, I don't really like it. I'm going to take out two black eyes too. I'm not feeling that. I do like warm blood though. Dying at the last. All right, so here's what we have right now. This is a poem I didn't write a single word of it. I just pulled words from this giant piece of prose down here. And that's basically what poetry is. Imagine this whole piece of prose, all the words in your brain, you're picking the best words for the right situation. So here's my poem. This is nothing about weasels. That's the title of the piece, Living Like Weasels. Instead, this is a poem that I pulled from uh, this prose in the beat style. Cross the highway through the woods. My feet tremble. The distant shore, remarkable piece of shallowness. Once a man looking down, warm blood dying at the last. So it's not a clear story by any means, but you do get a whole tone from it. You get a sense. You could guess what the story is about. You guys can do the exact same thing. You could write a poem from this that's a romantic poem. You could write one that's dark and almost like a horror poem. Um, there's plenty of stuff in here, so basically you can create whatever you want as your first poem for this class.